OK, we've been promising them all morning. How do they get on? Def Leppard, yes, on a tour of, well, three continents, in fact, in Snap. Snap. They hired a private jet, filled it with loads of crazy people and tried to play three concerts in three continents in one day. No way, you say. Yes way, because this is rock and roll Def Leppard style. Look out, Norris McWhorter, because those monsters of metal Def Leppard are out to set a record. One of the most insane and inane records in musical history. Yesterday, within the space of 24 hours, they attempted to play a full-scale gig in Africa, Britain and Canada. It's madness, that's what it's about. Pure hell. It's going to be 24 hours of complete lunacy. Madness, lunacy, sounds cool. So Snap slipped into its leathers, greased up its hair and went along for the ride. I'm glad it's been documented. It's nice that you guys get to see um, what's going on. We're going to be playing in the dark, in a cave. Torches, I don't know how they're going to light us up, so it should be a lot of fun. Yes, at one minute past midnight on Monday morning, the boys took over a cave in Morocco and began their bid for a place in the record books. But just how big are the leopards in Africa? What is the leopard? Wait your name, wait your name. Doesn't pyromania mean anything to you guys? There must be at least one Moroccan metalhead out there. Of course we know like the rock and the hard rock. Of course the rock and roll left Def Leppard. Who, who doesn't know Def Leppard? I don't want to fight no more. I don't know what we're fighting for. When we treat each other, baby, like an actor of war. I could tell a million lies And it will come as no surprise It's when the truth is like a stranger It's you right between the eyes There's a time and a place and a reason And I know I gotta love to believe it It's unbelievable, it really is. It's like a dream. A dream which West Midlands resident Alan Taylor got to share by pure chance. He won a competition on local radio to be with the band in their finest hour. I was looking for calling number eight. Um, I was still at work at the time. Wife was at home and both Def Leppard fans. My wife was number seven <laughs> and I was number eight. So, uh, it was me. But while Alan was savouring his brush with Lady Luck, the band were already thinking of their next concert. One down, two to go. Uh, I'm not quite sure whether that's the easy one or the hard one out of the way. But, uh, I think the one in a few hours' time in London, that's going to be uh, that's going to be the killer. While the lightweights flaked out at the airport in Morocco, London was already rocking in anticipation. Leopard! And when Def Leppard finally arrived on stage, it was the great days of Nebworth all over again. Sing it! What a day! The fans had seen the gig, helped out in the record attempt, and most importantly, bought one of those funky black T-shirts. Bought a T-shirt, worn a T-shirt, washed a T-shirt. Are you sure? Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Well done, boys. Three yeah. continents three in 24 Three gigs hours. in three continents in 24 that hours. Is that is going unbelievable. Wow. Phil, Collins, didn't Phil Collins do two continents I think in 24 so. hours? They must that's have broken the record then, they? Well they? done. And they've well got an album out at the moment, their greatest hits called Fault. 